Hey what's going on everyone welcome back to yet another video in this video I am going to share 5 best tips and tricks for Nikon D3200 again yes again I have already made a video about that so this is an extension or part 2 of that video if you guys missed that video do check that out first I will add a link in the description so without wasting time let's start with tip number 1. Try to use custom white balance instead of auto. Auto is good but not good enough to get accurate white balance and it is not dependable if you do not have control over the scene. If you don't understand white balance, don't worry, go check out my white balance easy explanation video. I will add a link in the description. If it still feels scary, try to use custom preset white balance options in the camera. It is these little things which will make you different from others. You will get a consistent look throughout all of your photos and videos whereas auto might get you one image in warm tone and another in cool tone because of changing of the lighting situation. Next tip is very handy, use a battery grip as a battery extension. You may ask what is a battery grip? It is this thing which I have attached with my camera and I can insert two batteries instead of one. It also gives me a better grip of the camera both in horizontal or vertical way. You can use this extra shutter button in vertical view and it also comes with two extra batteries so you are set for a whole day shoot. And the most important of all, these things are not very expensive but you will get extra security in case of battery. If you want that specific version of battery grip, I will add link in the description go check that out the next tip is use your phone as an extra screen as you know Nikon D3200 doesn't have a live view for photos so you have to shoot your photos looking at the viewfinder if you are a beginner photographer or struggle to focus through viewfinder you can use your Android phone as an extra screen and nail your focus I have made a video about how you can convert your phone as an extra screen for Nikon D3200 I will add a link in the description go check that out the next tip is transfer your photos directly on the phone and share in my last Nikon tips and tricks video I have shared how important it is to share your photos it is one of the most important reasons and why we shoot photos or videos right to share with the world but as you know Nikon D3200 doesn't have Wi-Fi so it is pain in the ass to transfer your photos directly on the phone but you can transfer your photos directly on the phone by using OTG type A to type C converter I have made a full video about that I will add a link in the description so check that video too before the last tip I want a favor from you guys if you like or learn anything from this video hit that like button and consider subscribing that will help me with the algorithm so the last tip is understand focal length of your lenses as you know Nikon D3200 is a crop sensor camera you will not get the actual focal length mentioned on your lens you have to multiply with 1.5 times 1.5 is the crop factor for Nikon D3200 so if you are using a 50mm lens you will not get 50mm focal length on that lens you will get 75 mm instead and the field of view will be narrower so choose your lens accordingly don't get confused if you saw someone used a full frame camera body with a 50 mm lens you will not get the same result with Nikon D3200 so that's it for this video if you like or learn anything from this video do let me know in the comment section consider subscribing if you want more videos like this see you in the next video peace